Hello everyone, welcome to my video on elementary differential equations. This is video number one for chapter six. And the topic for the chapter is um, systems of two linear differential equations. Now let's begin with an introduction to the topic. So we talk about systems of two differential equations and uh, in general an a general form of a system of first order ordinary differential equations for two unknowns x1 and x2 um, can be written as follows um, x1 prime prime meaning derivative with respect to t equals to some function f1 depending on t x1 and x2 and uh, x2 prime of t equal to another function depending on t x1 and x2 and they are usually associated with the initial condition that you have an initial time t naught then the two unknowns x1 and x2 the value at t naught is given would be x1 bar x2 bar respectively so this is a general setting and here in this course we are interested in seeing the connection between higher order ordinary differential equations with the system of first order ODEs. So um, for this topic we begin with an example and just to show that and there's the connection between them. Let's say we have our standard second order constant coefficient equation with y as unknown, y double prime as the highest derivative, and that's just a standard form, and then g of t is the right hand side, and with the initial conditions given, y0 is alpha, y prime at 0 is beta. Now we can do a systematic variable change actually. So here let's just introduce this for a second order equation. So let's introduce two variables x1 and x2 in the following way. Um, x1 is y and then x2 is uh, x1 prime where x1 is y therefore it's y prime. And then we wish to rewrite this equation here, second order equation here, into a system of equation using x1 and x2 as the unknown. Okay, so this in particular means we wish to express x1 prime equals something and x2 prime equals something. And that something should contain just x1 and x2 without the derivatives. Okay, so what is x1 prime? Well, look at the definition of x2. x1 prime is exactly x2. So we have that immediately. And then what is x2 prime? Well, x2 prime would be if you take a derivative of x2, you will get y double prime. And then how do you get an expression for y double prime? Well, you can use this information here from this equation. You can solve this um, with respect to y double prime, write it as y double prime equals, move all these to the right hand side with negative sign and then with one over a in the front. Okay, So it will equal to one over a of gt here and then minus b times y prime and then we see that y prime is x2 so it's minus b times x2 and then minus c times y and then y is x1 so we have minus c times x1 and then this is expressed only as a function of uh, t x1 and x2 fitting the general form and then finally, we need to give the initial condition of x1 and x2 at 0. So what is x1 at 0? Well, we see that it's just y at 0, so it's alpha. And then what is x2 at 0? We see that it's y prime at 0, which is beta. Okay, so from this example, even though it's a specific example, we see that for a, a second order equation, those we are 
studying here in this course, we can rewrite it into a system of two first order equations. Okay, now let's give a, a concrete example. So we have this equation here, y double prime plus 5y prime minus 10y equal to sine t. And then y0 is 2, y prime 0 is 4. So it's just a specific example of the general case we talked about in the previous slide. Okay, let's uh, practice uh, rewriting it into a system of first order equations. So introduce the um, new variables x1 and x2 such that x1 is y and x2 is y prime, which is um, x1 prime. And then we can write out the system of uh, equations for x1 prime equals x2, that's per definition. And then x2 prime would be y double prime. And then we use this equation to write it out. So move this term to the right hand side. You get negative 5 y prime. And then y prime is x2. And move this to the right hand side. You get plus 10 times y. But y is just x1. And plus sine of t. Okay, and finally, um, we put in the initial conditions. So x1, 0 is y, 0. And x2, 0 is y prime at 0. So now we make an observation that um, such a procedure can be carried out actually to higher order equations. It doesn't have to be restricted to a second order equation. Let's say we have an nth order differential equation of the following form. y to the nth derivative equals some function capital F of t, y, y prime, and all the way to the y to the n minus 1 derivative. So all the derivatives lower than this highest one. So assuming your equation can be written like that, and now we define the variable change in a similar way, but extended for this general case. So we define x1 to be y, and then x2 is y prime, and then x3 is y double prime, and so on. And xn will be y to the m minus 1 derivative. And now we wish to write out a system of uh, n equations where um, on the left hand side of these equations will be the x1 prime, x2 prime, all the way to xn prime, and one for each of these equations. Okay, so let's look at x1 prime. What is x1 prime? Well, it's y prime, and then y prime is x2, so x1 prime is x2. And then similarly, x2 prime will be y double prime, which would be x3. So x2 prime is x3. And you can continue this all the way to um, xn minus 1 prime. That will be um, taking one more derivative of, of uh, xn minus 1. That will get you y to the n minus 1 derivative, because it will be the one before that. And that is exactly xn. So for the first n minus 1 equations, and the right hand side has only one term, which is the next x that you defined. And that is because um, the way we define the axis. Okay, and then there's the last equation, xm prime, which will be y to the nth derivative. Differentiate this one more time. And that we use the original equation, which will be a function of t and the y and the y prime, all these lower y's. And then we see that thanks to this definition here, we can write this as function of x1, x2, because y is just x1, y prime is x2, and the y to the n minus 1 derivative is just xn. Okay. And then, um, you can write out the corresponding source terms if they are given here for this problem. Then you can wrote, write out the source term for the system accordingly. 
Okay, so before we get into more details of solving it, let's just give a um, formal definition of a solution. What do we mean by a solution for a system? Well, that means the solution is a set of functions x1, x2, xn, if uh, we talk general system of uh, n equations, that uh, these functions will satisfy all the differential equations in the system and then all the initial conditions that are specified. Okay, so just uh, in a very broad s sense, a definition. Okay, so um, that's all I want to say in this uh, introductory video, and uh, we'll move on and with more details to come in the following videos. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.